Ladies, gentlemen, or what have you, I'm Edgar Orpheus, and I'd like to extend you a warm welcome to the Pumpkin Patch this evening, where we will continue our magical journey with the Count Lucanor. Alright, so, I am lost, abandoned in the woods at night, I have but this candle to guide my way, and I've... Uh, this is a really old tomb, it's a warn, I can't read the name. <laughs> oh, I love it, I love this game. <laughs> I love it already. All right, we have to get home, lest some horrid beastie jump out at me. Mm. <laughs> Are those ducklings? Oh, even in tense, spooky moments, it's still great. <laughs> I wonder if I... Oh, yes. That is exactly the amount of dark it needs to be for perfect atmosphere. Let's see, what else have we... Oh. This is the blood of all those who died at war. <laughs> it is red, isn't it? I, I was chalking it up to the lighting. <laughs> Magical. I love how it waits until the end. It, it, uh, oh. Oh, hello. <laughs> What's happening here? Is... Oh no. That is an issue. Are they. <laughs> Whoa, this has to be a nightmare! You don't say! <laughs> oh, look, even the, the babies are still adorable. This one is. Uh, I am frankly unsettled by, but in a way that I am very appreciative of. I hope. I hope they're just... they're just fine. Wait! Oh, that means I've wasted my cheese on that corpse. Oh well. At least he had a... a fond final mow. Oh, there it is. Oh! Hello! Oh, he's still alive! Fantastic! <laughs> Alright then. Hey, buddy! You alright? You look pale. <laughs> Look at his face! Oh. <laughs> Even in horrific moments like this, it's beautiful. You never can trust a goat, can ya? <laughs> oh, it's magical. This is scary as hell. I want to go home now. Oh, fantastic. Is there anything else hidden in the dark? There's that one who's very into what's going on in the sky. Look at him enjoying his time. <laughs> so, so if I can briefly um, speak a critique about the the horror, I feel like um, yes, I think that a lo a lot of the the scare comes through in a sort of non-specific unsettling. But as I'm going along, I'm paying very close attention to the audio design, which is like fantastic. Like, uh, listen, if you can. You can hear the breathing of the goats, and <laughs> it, it faded in when I came along, and when the, the head jump-scared, it, it had a very, um, uh, uh, a very unique sort of signature to it that I'm, I'm... <laughs> Children named Hans will be hung from the highest tower of the village for skipping war. Oh, Lord, I am 100% into this now. If I was, all right, if I was, oh. I was going to say, if I was 100% into it now, I am with every fiber of my being 100 and beyond percent into it. Huh? It's that adorable thing from the loading screen. <laughs> well, well, I should. My instincts say follow the abomination, but... I'm half tempted to see what else is around. All right. All right. All right. Hmm. So, oh. Uh, so just sort of, uh, <laughs> So just sort of idly thinking about the goat, maybe, um, because it, it, it started trapped in the boxes, and I wonder if the, the baby goat that was where we just passed, if it was trapped um, in order to sort of 
instantly create an emotional investment in the goat. So, I mean, it's already adorable, but by freeing it, you have already, like, the player has already created a connection with this adorable animal, only to be subverted later with the horrific nature of the demon goats, I think is, uh, I think is what was going on from, a, like, a, a design perspective. And I am super, super excited for what the rest of this game could bring as a result of just, like, really subtle design decisions like that. All right, so Hans is distressed. Is there something underneath the boxes, I wonder? Oh, no, that's a problem. That's a problem. Oh, that's very much a problem. Ho, <laughs> that is... Uh, oh, no, that is extraordinarily a problem. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Ho, ho, Fantastic. Oh, no. Oh, no. Go. 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 Oh, Lord. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Maybe I can slip through. Yeah. All right, that's fine. Run. Run, 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 run a little bit faster. You have a very determined stride, but it is not very effective against the coming death. <laughs> they bark, by the way, which is fantastic. The blue kobold keeps a great treasure. Hmm. All right, let's find... Oh, no, stop, stop walking. Stop, stop walking. <laughs> Oh, I am very pleased about this situation, if horrified. Oh god, is it getting faster? Uh, well, well, hold on now. I'm, I'm being... Ow, stop eating me. No, 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 maybe I shouldn't have gone back. I wanted to see... Oh no, there's just a slew of them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh... Oh, shit. That's unfortunate. Am I... Oh, no, 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 because I couldn't... Oh no. Eat, eat the food. Eat the chestnuts, yes. Okay, that's fine. Oh, no, I shouldn't have given the cane. Oh, no. I perhaps should not have given the cane. Is that... That deer still a regular deer? <laughs> I was curious. I wanted to see what was with the donkey and the apple, but now I'm gonna get eaten by goat monstrosities. Is this... Goat, fix it. Nope, nope, it's a monster. Uh, they're all monsters. That was not wise. That was not wise. That was not a wise decision on my part. Oh, perhaps I deserve my fate. Oh, I'm a fool. I am a great and ill-fortuned fool. It's alright, I've escaped. Oh, no, I spoke too soon. I have, in fact, not escaped. I've died. I've died. Very tragic. What is Load Soul? Is it just a new game? Oh. Oh, I wonder what the save system is for this. I don't know. Continue, of course. Oh, no, that's unfortunate. Oh, my head, it's pitch dark. I should head home. We've done this all before. I should take this candle. Right, 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 right. River of blood. I wonder. I wonder. Alright, I know better this time. Goats are demons and I ought not to. There's monstrosities thereabouts. What's happening here? I know what's happening here. I don't need to see again. Thank you very much. Alright, let's follow this thing, and perhaps be more diligent about following it, and not get distracted by apples and demons. Alright. This time. This time. This time. I wonder... I wonder, maybe I could leave a barricade behind me. I... don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to. I know what's... I know what lies thereabouts. Oh god, there it is! Go, 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 go. Oh no, oh lord, oh jeez. Oh, why, why, what is happening? Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Well, that time I feel like it wasn't totally my fault. I, uh, hmm, hmm. I think I will just, uh, skip ahead to the next section, you know, to, to where we've been before. Uh, yes, I will just skip ahead starting now. Alright, alright, I'm back, I'm back, I'm still in pursuit. I'm going to follow the thing a bit more diligently. And there's an adorable deer. Is it fine? Oh, even it's, even it fits completely still, I can see it breathing. Ow, darn, is there like a run me go faster? Nope, that set that down, don't do that. Is there, nope, that's menu. Alright, so this is just the fastest I go. All right, that's fine. I am okay with that. I'm not okay with it. Don't tell anyone I'm not okay with it. All right, all right. 
So, north then. Oh, it's like a, that birdie seemed a lot cuter before the sunset. I don't know. I'm more of a raven man myself. Huh. That's a foreboding tree. Alright. Alright. Oh, good. Oh, good. It's a dark hole. Oh, good. It's a dark hole. And likely my only alternative is goat devils. Huh. Let me... I'm sorry if this ends in my destruction, but... I feel impelled to- oh, a candle! There's a note! This wall must be part of Tenembra Castle! But how can I get across this insurmountable barrier? Signed by J.F. Uh-oh, that's a problem. Alright, apologies for the delay. There's a note! This wall must be part of Tenembra Castle, but how can I get across this insurmountable barrier? Signed by J.F. Hmm. Hmm. Well, at least I've got another candle. So... Perhaps I should spend a bit more time exploring. Likely, well, I, I just hope that there is nothing to be missed while under duress. Oh, oh, it's a broken statue. This place looks like an old abandoned garden. I am inclined to agree. There are, in fact, plants growing. I'm sorry, Hans, that was, that was, uh, that was snarky of me. I don't mean to put you down. You've gone through a terrible sequence of events leading up to this point right now. And things only promise to get worse with the inclusion of this demon hole. Oh. Hello. <laughs> oh, fantastic. You know, I made the Over the Garden Wall comparison earlier, and the face of this thing reminds me of something that Pendleton Ward might, like, create, right? Good evening, most gracious sire. Welcome. Um, hello. Where am I? You've entered the walls of Tenebra Castle, the fortress of the most illustrious Count Lucanor. I didn't know there was a Count living around here. My master has always excelled at discretion. Perhaps you've come to claim my master's legacy. Legacy? My master, Count Lucanor, is a man of great wealth. His domain and influence span hundreds of leagues. However, he is afflicted by a sorrow. His days of youth are far behind, and in all these years he has not had a son to take his place. Thus, he has requested me to look for a young nobleman who deserves to inherit such a fortune. You mean this Count Lucanor has a lot of money, and he's looking for someone to have it? Precisely. So my first thought was you had arrived with that purpose in mind. Of course, I'm a <clears throat> nobleman from a <clears throat> faraway kingdom. I've come to claim the Count's wealth. Take me to him at once, please. I admire your enthusiasm, sire. But before I take you to my master, I need to make sure you stand for the appropriate values for the role. We would not want vile noblemen, thieves, or ragged children in the throne, would we, sire? <laughs> Look at his dumb face. I'm sorry, that was mean. Look at his silly face. He's just got like a... Duh! Kind of face going on. <laughs> I love it. Therefore, you will need to tackle a simple trial. You will need to guess my name. What do you say? You will have the night to guess my name. If you are right, I will personally take you to my master, the most illustrious Count Lucanor. Hmm. I wish you luck in the trial, sire. Now, if you will allow me, I have to leave. What a blessing! If I guess his name, I'll be rich! Alright. 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 So, if you'll allow me uh, the, the presumptuousness to take a quick uh, moment to sort of uh, collect my thoughts on the design. The opening sequences uh, to this game, there's a lot of uh, zero-sum giving of things. So, you know, you're giving food, you're giving coins, you're, you know, you're giving a bunch of things, and 
I think it helps really reinforce the idea that you don't have a lot of resources, that you're poor. So that it really um, it makes the player's goal the same as the character's goal. The character's goal being to get rich and have more resources um, by, by making you feel lost, by giving away food and the like. It, it helps to align your goal to also become, you know, the, it makes the player want to gain resources and become rich as well. And so there's a, you know, a consonance between or a sort of accord between the player and the, the character that the player is playing, which is um, a really nice touch and I think is important for narrative driven games such as this one. All right. I, I you know, I think I think perhaps now is the time to end the episode. Yes, I think we'll castle we'll handle this creepy drafty castle in the next one. Thank you so much for exposing yourself to my nonsense. I hope you've enjoyed the experience, I certainly have, and I hope to see you traipsing round the pumpkin patch again. Remember, I'm Edgar Orpheus. Goodbye. <laughs>